are you eager to break into the dynamic world of data analytics but you are unsure where to start have you made several attempts to get a job but you received that very famous unfortunately in today's video we'll discuss the fastest way to land your dream job as a data analyst we will cover some essential steps to success and if you subscribe now and watch till the end i'll give you a list of websites you can drop your cv and be sure to get the job that said let's get started welcome back now landing a job in data analytics requires a strategic approach and a blend of qualification skills and experience if you play your cards right you will be sitting behind the desk of a data analyst in no time at all first things first ensure that you have the necessary qualifications now although university degree in a related course of study like computer science data analytics is an added advantage but this isn't necessarily a deal breaker you should consider pursuing relevant certifications such as SQL, Python, or data analysis from reputable platforms like uh, Coursera, Udacity, Udemy. I find that the fastest way to learn on this platform is by working on projects. So look out for project-based courses. Building the right skills is very, very crucial. Now, beyond your qualifications, your certifications, it's important to focus on mastering analytical tools like Excel, Tableau, or Power BI. I would tilt more towards Power BI, and this is because, in my experience, it's more widely used in the industry. Uh, building the required skills cannot be overemphasized, and the fastest way that I, I have found to build skills is by working on projects. So look out for project-based opportunities to learn this tool. Next, you should look out for ways to gather practical experience. It will definitely set you apart. This could be through internships or personal projects. It's important to assemble a compelling uh, project portfolio. A place where you can showcase your analytical skills, your qualifications, and you can do this by completing projects that demonstrate your ability to manipulate data, to draw insights, and to communicate your findings effectively. Your project portfolio could be hosted on places like GitHub, like Cargo, like Medium, or even your personal website. Your LinkedIn profile is your digital resume. It's the way people will perceive you. It's your opportunity to give a first, a good first impression to your prospective employers. It's important that you ensure it's up to date with relevant skills, experiences, and project highlights. You should consider also engaging with industry professionals and joining data analyst groups because this will expand your network and expose you to more information within the industry. Next up, you should consider crafting an awesome CV as this is very, very essential. Highlight your technical skills, your product achievements, and any relevant experience you may have. It's important to customize each CV to align with the specific job description that you're applying for. I made a video about a sample data analyst CV, which I'll share at the end of this video. You'll also be able to download a copy of that CV so you can edit and use for yourself so stick around for this bonus when you have successfully gone through all these steps it's time to search for the job register on job boards and with recruitment agencies now registering with recruitment agencies is a very sure way to get a job and this is because most agencies get a commission when they refer a candidate I would really want you to get the job and may be willing to let you in on how to impress the employer. Set up job alerts 
to uh, stay updated on new opportunities and tailor your application to match each job requirement. In the description section, I've shared a list of places that you are sure to find the jobs. In conclusion, rejections are a natural part of job search process. Now, instead of dwelling on them, it's important to use each rejection as an opportunity to learn and grow. Job hunting can be challenging, but it's important to stay persistent, to continue improving your skills, and to leverage feedback to refine your job search approach. And when you make it to the interview stage, because you will make it to the interview stage, it's important to keep a fun and positive attitude. You see, on average, an interviewer interviews at least four people for a single position. In many cases, they might end up interviewing as many as 10, 20 people for one position. That means on average, you have a chance of succeeding only 25% of the time or maybe 10 or 5% of the time. You may have great qualifications, you may have great skills, you may have a very good portfolio experience. However, the interviewers may not pick you simply because you don't embody the DNA of the organization. So research the company you are seeking to work with and be what they are looking for. For instance, I got a job in a domain I had no prior experience in and when I was giving my interview feedback, I was told that although I had no experience in the field, I had the technical knowledge and they were willing to go with me. It wasn't until over a year after I had gotten into that employment that I got to know that I was chosen because when I entered the interview room, I wore a very positive attitude and they wanted that vibe. Don't beat yourself up if you don't get a job. The interviewers are always looking for something that may not be on your CV. Remember, landing a job as a data analyst is within your reach. With dedication, perseverance, and the right strategy, you will get it. Just keep pushing forward and success will follow. So with that, we have come to the end of this video. Thanks for tuning in. And if you found these tips helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insight on data science and tech in general. As promised, I have left a list of sure places to begin your job search in the description below. I've also left a link to the video I made on crafting a winning CV. I left that here as well. Until next time, bye-bye.